Hey, there you are. Thanks for coming by. I am American Jesus. And this is my opinions, these, that with the talky thing. What I did want to talk about today is the came to believe part of the second step. Um, and particularly the religious implications of that. Now, one day I will go through the steps, the way that I work them, um, and the way that I work them with other people as an atheist. Um, but that's going to be down the line. But today we're still sticking with kind of, we need to clarify some of the things that they do that's all fucked up and shit. Uh, and one of them is this came to believe second step. I think what I'm getting at is whether or not an individual comes to believe. Um, do they ever, you know, it, you hear all of this uh, stuff about, you know, hey, man, you just keep coming back and more will be revealed. And uh, yeah, so don't worry about nothing. And unless you just want to die. Uh, but yeah, they, they, they talk about the whole came to believe thing as like, well, it happens over time. And, I, and it's like, oh, okay, well, I get it. What you're saying is that the longer I come to meetings and I mistakenly correlate any type of positive outcome from meetings with the fact that I'm going to meetings, the more I will believe that the meetings are causing it because I come to meetings and that's what you tell me. Did you get all that? It's a little complicated. So basically what they're saying is that this is the biggest thing that I'm doing. With It's kind of like, oh, well, once I started believing in Jesus, then Jesus things started happening because Jesus. And, well, when I started working the 12 steps, you know, things started going, you know, coming together and making sense. Yeah, what else was happening? Uh, you know, there was probably a lot of stuff going on. And, and, and to be honest with you, you're kind of the same as you are when you came in. I mean, like with it after the first like month that you detoxed, uh, after that, you're really kind of just the same dick you were when, when you were new. Um, you really haven't evolved much. Um, I mean, you're, so, but they correlate things going right with the steps. And the more they correlate that over a period of time, the more that they believe um, as opposed to another way to create a belief system, and, and, and that's the way that most um, intelligent people and critical thinkers actually do, and that's to build a body of evidence. A body of evidence that is as objective as possible, um, that maybe involves people who are not actually addicts, um, people who don't necessarily believe that the program works to analyze whether or not the program works. See, if you're invested in the working, you know, if, if you go to a meeting and you're invested in the program working in order to basically go to sleep, um, because you've been told that if it doesn't work, that you're going to die and relapse and go back in jail and terrible things will happen, um, then you're highly motivated to believe that the program will work. Um, or at least work very diligently at convincing yourself that you believe this. But what we do, because we have to have this belief, is that we start to kind of create reasons why it's true. Same thing with 12 steps. Well, if people relapse and they, they die, they weren't working it. Because if they were working it, then that would contradict my belief that it works. So if you come up to somebody and say, hey, yeah, man, uh, the day before that guy relapsed, he, he, uh, he called a sponsor. He went to a meeting. He was working steps. I mean, I remember I went over to step work with him that day. He'd been working steps for a long time. He was heavy involved in service work. And then he went home and he blew his brains out. And people would be like, oh, well, he just must have been really sick. Oh, okay. How do I know that, that you're not really sick? How do I know that anyone in here is not really sick? That's not, that's, that's not a definitive answer. That Definitive, i.e., defining anything. It's just a word that you're saying to make you feel better about the fact that the program works. Um, because it doesn't. It doesn't work. Um, 
and, and so if we're talking about the religious aspects of it, believers and non-believers, ironically enough, relapse pretty much at the same rate. Believers have a tendency, if you're a Christian, which most of them are, if they're believers in America, um, they have a tendency to be irate with the fact that it goes against uh, Christian uh, theology and that it basically is heresy. I mean, the, the entire book is heresy. I mean, if, if, you, if you're a fundamentalist uh, Christian, you can't go to a 12-step fellowship. It's heresy. Um, because it basically continually says that, oh, well, no, you can do whatever, and God's or whatever, and you can believe whatever you want. And as a fundamentalist, you would be obligated to stand up and say, no, that's not true. The Christian God is the one true God. And, you know, to be honest with you, it's like, yeah, man, pick a side. It is irrational. And even, even Christianity is irrational. It, that's why it's mystical and it's spiritual, but it is irrational. Coming to believe in something that has no evidence um, is irrational. Does it mean that people don't believe it or whatever? Uh, I'm just letting you know that that there's you know it's not rational. It's not. It does not use your your logic, your your logic brain parts, uh, the prefrontal cortex. So. You know, one of the things, that, and I'll end on this, um, because this is kind of very much an exemplifies uh, what um, I'm talking about here. Uh, that I worked for this guy um, that was in the fellowship, and he liked to watch Alex Jones, and he liked to spend lots of money, and he had lots of money, and he liked to fire people for no reason. <laughs> and I'm not just talking about me. Like, I think after, like a year after I had been uh, let go, like there was nobody that worked at the company um, that worked there when I worked there because he had literally fired everybody because <laughs> uh, he was so paranoid all the time. Um, but I remember, you know, as an atheist walking into his office one day and saying, hey, you know, you, you do realize that I've got 22 years clean and that I've, I have tried to believe in a God. I have tried. I mean, I, I did get down on my knees with my sponsor during the seventh step um, and pray with him. I did pray every day. Um, I just, you know, just wanted to let you know that, that you seem to think like I was very flippant. Uh, with my belief, you know. Um, and so, yeah, this guy, uh, you know, basically tells me, he says, well, you just didn't try hard enough. And at that point, I was like, oh, oh, you're a crazy person. Um, because he was a crazy person. But the, but the moral of the story... The moral of the story is, is that, yeah, so he does coke now. Um, I guess that's cool. And uh, he's completely miserable. And um, he has lots of money, um, which, you know, because Jesus um, liked people to have lots of money. He wasn't, like, against that at all, um, right? I mean, the book only talks about it a lot, that he hated people that had lots of money. But, uh you know, but he stopped going to meetings. He stopped. Uh, he didn't really have a sponsor. His sponsor was a freaking idiot. Um, and so he, you know, started using and said that the group was just not, you know, whatever, whatever. It just wasn't an A enough for me because I need, I've got, I'm a real blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You're real freaking messed up, dude. Seriously, that's all you were is messed up. You're still messed up, man. Um, and now you're doing lots of drugs. And see, the funny thing is, it's like he was a huge believer. He believed in Jesus. He watched sermons. He watched Alex Jones because Alex Jones and Jesus, they're good buddies. Um, very much a conservative Republican uh, individual. And here I am, the atheist. Uh, I think he had like 10 years or whatever. 
Um, and here I am, the atheist with 22 years clean, never relapsed. Don't believe any of that stuff, um, but I know what's, what's good for me. And I know what's not good for me. And today, what was not good for me would, would be not would be using or drinking because that, that's just not what I want. Um, you know, but this individual uh, was a believer. He, he didn't have to come to believe. He was a strong believer. He, he basically, on a daily basis, believed he turned his will and his life over to the care of God as he understood him, um, which was the Christian God. Um, he worked steps. He sponsored a whole bunch of people. Um, he was active in service work, and he's doing lots of cocaine. So, yeah, it's good. Um, and what I mean by that is, is that if you need any other evidence um, that this program probably doesn't work on its face, that the program outlined in the literature um, does no, no longer works. It maybe worked when we could come to believe because we didn't have all this evidence that was otherwise um, kind of working against our ability to believe, you know, like the, the smarts. <laughs> like having, damn it, man, I, I totally, you know, you just got too many of them damn smarts to work a program right. You know, I'm sorry. I was just born this way. Um, but I can still stay clean longer than you. Um, I can still basically have a life of self-reflection. Um, and, uh, and I can still admit that if there was a God, why would he kill off so many addicts that go to meetings? Why would he kill off my friends? that went to meetings and worked steps and had sponsors. And why did the meetings never talk about that? Anyways, on that joyous note, um, the guy I worked for is still alive, so that's funny. Uh, but, and he's not in prison, he's not in jail, he just does a bunch of drugs. Uh, so he's having a good old time. Mm. And uh, yeah, so I want to thank you for coming by. I appreciate anybody that actually watches these things. Because I know there's a lot of people out there that don't go to meetings anymore and have similar experiences that I do. And I hope that if you did watch this, that it gave you some songs.